Hello everybody, welcome back to our GGNA YouTube channel and today we are going to be looking at some sprints. So to start off with, make sure you're warmed up. Go on, go, warm up. Great, okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is I've measured out approximately 30 meters straight. And what we are going to do is jog for half of it and then sprint the rest. And then on the way back, we're gonna jog again and sprint the rest. This is getting us ready to change the speed, which is obviously useful in netball and also warm us up into our sprinting. So are we ready? Jog, 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 halfway sprint. Make sure that when you're doing your sprint, your knees are coming up as if you're doing high knees. You're really pushing off that back leg, okay? And you're looking straight to where you're going. You're not looking at the ground. This will completely optimize your sprint. And in netball, you need to be able to see where the ball is. So if you practice looking down at here, you'll get the ball in your face. The next one we're going to do is going to sprint straight away 15 meters. And then the next 15, we're gonna jog. And then we'll do the same on the way back. Ready? Three, two, one, go! For the next set, we're going to add in some movements before we go and do our sprint. So the first one we're going to do, is you're gonna start looking away from your sprinting track and you are going to go full turn, full turn, sprint. But obviously it's gonna be quicker than that. So are we ready? So every time you, we are working today, we're going to make sure our sprint is 100% and then our walk back is our rest so that you can go straight into the next one. The next one is you're going to be stood 30 degrees to your running track and you're going to go tuck jump, tuck jump, sprint. Okay, so a tuck jump, you bring your knees to your chest, lift, like lifting your legs high off the ground. Remember, the walk back is your rest. The next one is fast feet, turn and sprint. So you're gonna do fast feet for about three seconds, turn and sprint. So fast feet, go. fast, <laughs> fast feet and go, go, go. Jack not interested in sprint training. So the next one we're gonna get out, in, out, in, go. Ready? Out, in, out, in, go. For the next one, you're going to go and do a change of direction. So you're going to start in the middle of your track, go out one way, come back out, and then sprint forward. So it'll be something like this, but quicker. Out, down. Are you ready? Fast feet gets you in the mood to get ready to change that. So for the next one, you're gonna jump up with both arms really high as if you're going for a ball. Exactly. As soon as you land, you're gonna take off. So ready, it will look like this. <coughs> Last one, we're going to go out, do a sort of uh, change of direction turn and then sprint going that way. So it's like you're getting away, rid of your defender. If you want to make it more realistic, obviously you can turn this direction and do it. But for now, because we're really trying to focus on our sprints, we're going to make sure we are facing forward. So we're going to go out, plant that foot, come out again, and then run. So let's try it. Ready, go. So I want you to practice these three to five times for each one. So that's the end of the video. Do each sprint twice and remember the walk back is your rest. So 
so walk as slowly as you think you need to. Make sure you change up the movements before your sprint so that you make it as netball related as possible. Sprints are just as important as any other cardiovascular exercise and endurance exercise, so make sure you are doing a bit of sprinting too. So see you in the next video.